An Ohio man came back to life after being dead for 45 minutes. Tony Yaley's story astounded the medical community and made headlines around the world. Charlene Israel traveled to Ohio and discovered that it was Yaley's faith that kept him alive. 37-year-old Tony Yaley is thankful he could attend church with his family. Feels great. I was, I was you know, always a believer, but I mean, it's, it's a whole new level now. In the early morning of August 5th, Tony had difficulty breathing and went into cardiac arrest. It was 4 a.m. Um, the Lord woke me up. There's no other explanation. I don't get up at 4 a.m. Um, something just woke me up, and I heard his breathing. And as a nurse, I knew it was not correct. I turned on the light, tried to wake him up. He wouldn't wake up. I took his pulse. He didn't have a pulse, so then I just went into my training and did CPR. Tony was rushed to the ER at this hospital where he later coded. Doctors worked on him for 45 minutes to save his life. He was later pronounced dead. His family was shocked and heartbroken. I get just dropped and like my stomach dropped. I just didn't know how to feel. I just cried. It was a overwhelming um, shock, a lot of grief. While nurses prepared the body for his family's final viewing, Melissa kept believing for the impossible. My 17-year-old um, cousin, who is a preacher, laid his hand upon me, and the Lord spoke through him, and he said, he called me his child. He, he said a whole lot more, which I don't remember, but he also said, if we would just believe that it would be done. And from that moment on, I knew, I knew he was going to be all right. Pastor Paul Santoro and his wife Jennifer were at the hospital with Tony's family. Pastor Paul says he had recently been teaching on the power of prayer. The couple had also begun talking to Tony's 17-year-old son, Lawrence, about the things of God. I distinctly remember watching him with his elbows on a desk. And he had his head down and he was praying. And then the word came in and the doctors came in and the place he wrapped it with such grief. I'll never forget the sounds of the, the wailing, the screaming, the crying. And uh, Lawrence jumped up and he went to the wall and he just hit the wall just really hard. And I saw Lawrence um, as he was, he was turned to the wall, um, shaking his head. Then all of a sudden he straightened up and it was as if he just had the second... Wind. Refusing to accept his father's death, Lawrence did something extraordinary. Something just, just clicked and um, so I just came out and I said, Dad, you're not going to die today. I spoke against the spirit of death in my prayer and I asked the Lord to give him life and to call him back. And when I did that, Lawrence runs out into the hallway and we were actually in agreement. He declared that uh, the doctors must not give up hope on his dad. He said that a couple of times and then he said that his dad, he spoke to his, toward his dad and pointed toward his dad and he said his dad would live. Immediately, Tony's body began to show signs of life. He fully awakened five days later with no signs of heart damage or defects. I mean, there's so many little things that need to get out there, miracles that happened after that big one that everybody's clinging to, you know. I mean, even down to, you know, me coming out with no broken ribs, not being sore. Hospital officials have no medical explanation for Tony's miraculous recovery. They agree there was divine intervention. I truly think, though, that with the power of all that prayer and all the things that were being done for him is the perfect coalescence of God in our lives and the... Um, the gifts that he gives us that we should be sharing. News of his resurrection has spread around the world. I just think that we are created by an amazing God, that there's only one answer, God. People who doubt are going to say it's just medical. People who believe say that's just proof of what I already know to be true. Tony says he doesn't remember anything about death. No white light, visions of heaven, and no answers why this happened. But he says his faith is stronger and more real than ever. God steps in when man can do no more. And they had literally came to the end and said, we can do no more. You know, they pronounced me dead, and that's when he came. The family also want people to worship God, not the miracle. Our God is an awesome God. Charlene Israel, CBN News, Dayton, Ohio. Quite a story, Pat. It's amazing, Lee. It's amazing. God is the God of life. You know, Jesus Christ uh, 
said he is the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He's not the God of the dead, but of the living. And uh, we all live before him, but it just shows that there's a continuum between life and death. And that man was flat out dead. The thing about it is he's got no brain damage. He's got no physical problems. And apparently with all the work being done from CPA, no broken ribs. Uh, it's just the CPR. I mean, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Terry? Astonishing story. Oh, I wow. 45 minutes. But a lot of faith and a son who believed and a pastor and his wife who believed and a family that believed. I mean, fabulous. Mm -hmm. God does miracles, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not the first century where he did miracles. He does miracles all the time. He lives. He lives. He lives within my heart. Terry. Well, up next, it's stranger than fiction. Hear what happened to an oil executive charged with killing two birds. I am a father of five, you know, with children from 